the early 2010s. It was an interesting time in music. Music sales were heading for an all-time low. YouTube and Spotify were taking over as the most popular platforms for music consumption. And we were entering into the streaming era. This uncertainty gave rise to some of the most amazing albums of the decade. Those albums were able to shape the direction of music for years to come. In this video, we look at 10 iconic albums from the early 2010s. Teenage Dream by Katy Perry The early 2010s were a time where colorful, fun, happy pop music ruled the charts. No other album epitomized that time like Katy Perry's sophomore album Teenage Dream. The album primarily revolves around themes of young love, partying, self-empowerment, and personal growth. It defined the whole spectrum of what a pop star could be in the 2010s. The album still shares the record for having five number one singles from one album, as California Girls, Firework, Teenage Dream, E.T. and Last Friday Night all went number one on the Billboard Hot 100. The album has now been certified nine times platinum by the RIAA. House of Balloons by The Weeknd As Teenage Dream was the bright, happy sound of mainstream pop music, House of Balloons was the dark, grimy sound of underground R&B. It is the debut mixtape by The Weeknd, released on March 21, 2011. The mixtape consists of nine tracks that explore themes of drug use, sex, and heartbreak. House of Balloons received widespread critical acclaim and was named one of the best albums of 2011 by several publications. It scored a 87 out of 100 on Metacritic. It is widely regarded as a major influence on many artists who followed its footsteps. It also helped launch The Weeknd's career and established him as one of the most innovative and influential artists of his generation. Take Care by Drake The 2010s was Drake's decade and the album that established his signature sound was 2011's Take Care. Take Care's lasting impact was the openness of his lyrics. Drake's vulnerability on the album let him connect with his listeners and form his core fan base. It defined what a rap star could be in the 2010s. This was evident on songs like Look What You've Done and Marvin's Room. Take Care was hugely popular upon its release, selling 631,000 copies in its first week and winning Best Rap Album at the 55th Grammy Awards. It has proved its longevity as it has now spent over 538 weeks on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. That's over 10 years. Born This Way by Lady Gaga Born This Way is the second studio album by Lady Gaga released on May 23, 2011. The album was inspired by Gaga's personal experiences of being bullied and discriminated for being different, and her desire to empower her fans to embrace their identities and celebrate their diversity. Born This Way debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling 1.1 million copies in its first week. It is regarded as one of Gaga's best and most important works, as well as one of the greatest pop albums of all time. In 2020, Rolling Stone included it in their list of 500 greatest albums of all time. The Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar The Kid, Mad City is the second studio album by Kendrick Lamar, released on October 22, 2012. It is a concept album that follows the story of a young Kendrick Lamar, growing up in a crime-ridden and gang-infested streets of Compton. The album is subtitled a short film by Kendrick Lamar, as it features various skits and interludes that connect the songs and advance the narrative. The album inspired many artists and listeners to appreciate the art of storytelling. It is regarded as one of Kendrick's best albums, as well as one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time scoring a 91 out of 100 on Metacritic. It was the fourth best-selling vinyl of 2022, 10 years after its release. Pure Heroin by Lord The debut album from New Zealand's teenage sensation Lord was a breath of fresh air in the pop landscape of the early 2010s. She released this album at just 16 years old. With her minimalist production, witty lyrics and distinctive voice, Lord captured the mood and spirit of a generation that felt disillusioned by the excess and glamour of mainstream pop. Songs like Royals, 
tennis courts and team became anthems of the outsiders who wanted something more authentic and relatable. Pure heroin, not the drug but the female hero, was a critical and commercial success, earning Lord four Grammy nominations and paving the way for other alternative pop artists like Billie Eilish to follow in her footsteps later in the decade. 21 by Adele The second album from the powerhouse Adele was a global phenomenon that broke records worldwide. With her soulful vocals, emotional lyrics and timeless melodies, Adele delivered a stunning collection of songs that resonated with millions of listeners who had experienced love and loss. 21 was the best selling album of 2011 and 2012, selling over 30 million records worldwide. It also won 6 Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, Record of the Year and Song of the Year for Rolling in the Deep. Adele proved that quality music can still reach a massive audience in the digital age and amass huge sales comparable to the albums of the 80s and 90s and 2000s. Red by Taylor Swift The fourth studio album from a then country pop superstar Taylor Swift was a turning point in her career as she experimented with different genres and collaborators to create a more mature and diverse sound. Red was a sonic diary of Taylor's emotions and experiences during her early 20s as she navigated love, heartbreak and fame while getting into adulthood. The album was a critical and commercial success, de debuting on number 1 on the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 1.2 million copies. It also featured some of her most beloved songs to date, such as 22, I Knew You Were Trouble and All Too Well. Born to Die by Lana Del Rey Born to Die is the second studio album and major label debut by Lana Del Rey, released on January 27, 2012. The album showcased Lana's signature cinematic sound, accompanied by dramatic string instruments, trap beats and vintage samples. The lyrics are about love, sex, drugs and glamour. The album was preceded by two singles, Video Games and Born to Die, which gained viral attention online and generated controversy for their dark and melancholic themes. It served as an inspiration for future albums like Melodrama by Lord. This album popularized the sleepy aesthetics in pop music. Beyonce by Beyonce The surprise release of Beyonce's self-titled fifth album was a game changer in the music industry as she dropped it without any prior announcement or promotion on iTunes in December 2013. It was a visual album, meaning that each song had a music video that told a cohesive story. The album earned five Grammy nominations, winning three, including Best R&B Album. It also spawned some of her most iconic songs and videos, such as Drunken Love, Partition and Flawless. This album proved that if you have a dedicated fan base, you don't need a lengthy rollout and marketing strategy to drop a successful album. What other albums do you think were iconic in the early 2010s? Tell me in the comments below.